14. This is Houston. Go ahead. This is Apollo Control standing by. I had completed my major task for going to the moon and was on the way home. Observing the passing of the heavens as we were rotating. The earth, the sun, the moon, and a 360-degree panorama of the heavens. The magnificence of all of this. All matter in our universe is created in star systems. And so the matter in my body and the matter in the spacecraft and the matter in my partner's bodies was the product of stars. We are stardust and we're all one in that sense. out and touch the furthest parts and experience the vast reaches of the universe. How magnificent this universe that we inhabit. I was aware of being an integral part of the entire universe for one brief instant. As I continued to gaze at Earth, the euphoria, the sense of oneness, of wholeness, of participation, changed into a feeling of deep despair, the darkest, blackest despair. that blue atmosphere and white clouds were my people, the crew of Spaceship Earth, in disharmony and disarray, a species not knowing our own potential, nor the limitlessness of our creative capability.
The spirit within us is the guiding force that makes mankind great. For Earth to survive as a planet, we, humankind, must rise to the challenge of learning to be stewards to Earth and to each other. We no longer can follow the patterns of the generations before. who believed because we were few in number and the earth was so large that its resources would last forever. Who believed, and we still believe, that conquest creates conformity and threat produces peace. like 12 cylinder engines operating on only one cylinder because we do not know what we are. We are limited only by what we believe about ourselves. When we change our belief, we will see ourselves differently. We often say, seeing is believing, but precisely the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. To become the creative, intelligent, loving creatures of the universe that is our true reality.